Welcome back to my channel and thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. So in today's video, I decided, you know what? I want to do a video about, is it too late to start a YouTube channel in 2020? So if you want to know more, keep watching. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. So in today's video, I wanted to have a conversation about, hey, is 2020 too late to start a YouTube channel? Or really, is any time too late to start a YouTube channel? And is there any room for me or for you or for this person to even be on YouTube in the sense of because there's so many other influencers out there? Is it going to be pointless? So you know what? I gathered six simple questions that I thought for me as a small business YouTuber influencer, I wish were answered for me. That makes sense? I hope it does. Anyways, keep watching and we'll go into it further. So the first question I thought for myself, like, hmm, self, what would I ask? So what I said, is it too late to start a YouTube channel? And where do you start? How do you start? When should you start? Okay, I know that's kind of like three questions in one. So when is a good time to start a YouTube channel? Anytime, right now, right at this moment is the best time to start a YouTube channel. Why wait until a week from now, a month from now, two months from now, three months from now, you get the point, right? Don't wait any longer. Just go ahead and start that YouTube channel. If you're waiting for it to be perfect in the sense of like, oh, I want to be like that particular channel. I want to be like that particular channel because they have a good platform. They have a good structure. Don't do that because then you're end up going to set yourself up for failure because you're anticipating of what others are going to expect from you. Don't do that. Just start your channel. You're going to have to start somewhere, right? That's how it typically works. So whatever you have, a camera, your cell phone, a tablet, however you're recording your video, just use that. And then from there, you'll transition into whatever, whatever, you know, let's talk, right? Whichever device is going to suit your needs. When you later down the road, start to record your videos in the, I guess, <laughs> I don't want to say in a professional manner, but more in an acceptable manner to you. So start your channel, start it now. Don't wait. Now that leads me to my number two. Well, I have four fingers out, so I should do this, right? <laughs> that leads into my number two question or statement that I guess I would kind of, okay, just go on with it. That would lead into don't compare yourself. And this really isn't a question. It's more of a statement. Don't compare yourself to other YouTubers. And that's the reason why I was saying that you're going to learn from mistakes. Don't learn to be perfect because that's just not reality. It really isn't. So going into number two, don't compare yourself to other people. And I literally mean that because if you're saying, well, that person has a fantastic flow on how they have their videos set up, how they have their intros or their outros or their camera angles, all of that, don't compare yourself because if you do, you're going to get frustrated. I, you will frustrate yourself and you know what's going to end up happening. You're going to give up. Don't do that. Okay, so that leads me into number three. Again, if you notice, these aren't really questions, they're more statements. Number three is don't get discouraged. What I mean by that is that you'll notice that someone may have like 500 like subscribers up to like 5,000 or 500,000 and you're like, but I only got like 20 subscribers, I only got 100 subscribers. How am I going to get to that particular amount of subscribers? Don't stress, don't worry. Just be consistent in your own workflow. Create your video, video, create your own videos into the format that you want it. Meaning create the videos on how you think is going to work best for you. Because as I mentioned earlier, you're going to learn as you go. So as you, if you don't get discouraged and you don't put yourself, compare, again, compare yourself to someone else, you will eventually hit the marks that you want to hit in terms of subscriber counts. So again, don't worry about that. Once you upload a video, even if you have like a couple views, but if you're consistent with your uploading your videos, guess what? Those viewers who were not subscribers at one point will eventually become a subscriber. Okay, so this leads me into number four. Again, this is more of a statement, not a question. Don't 
look at the subscriber count versus the view counts. Now you're like, okay, what are you talking about? Meaning like if a person has 5,000 subscribers or 20,000 subscribers, and all of a sudden you're looking at their view counts in terms of their videos, you're like, something doesn't add up here. How is it they have so many subscribers, but they only get like 20 views on a video? Like for me, I would be like, well, I have been. I was like, okay, this doesn't make sense here because my videos get quite a few views, but I have quite less subscribers than this individual does, right? Again, this is where the production of your videos come into play in terms of like, hey, don't get discouraged. Because even though this individual may have X amount of subscribers, guess what? They don't have that many returns of viewers where versus you do, where you're actually now creating content that someone is actually watching and they've come back to your channel a few times. Now they may have not subscribed, but they have seen your videos and they may have seen it more than once. And that is what you want to create or, or I should say want to happen because they will now say, oh, this person is being consistent with his or her videos. Let me go ahead and subscribe. So now what you've done is that you had a past viewer now become a subscriber, which in return creates more views for those videos where versus before that other individual doesn't have any views reason why because they those new subscribers that they had at one point that was new they just subscribed and they forgot either to unsubscribe to be be completely honest and they're not coming back to those videos because the production value isn't there to their liking now you're not we're not creating like a Paramount video or anything like our Disney production. By no means. That isn't what anyone's ex expecting you independent YouTubers to do. No. What they're thinking is that, can I relate to this person? Am I able to follow their flow of their videos and be enjoyable? That's where you then have the bigger, higher view counts because you know what? you want those high view counts because eventually if you have those view high counts and you get those um, subscriber counts to go up you'll be able to get monetized in your videos but that's for another conversation but if you want to know more about the monetization i don't know i butcher that word leave a comment below and it will definitely or i'll definitely create a video for you guys and we can go into that a little bit further this leads me into number six and you're, I mean, not number six, number five. What am I talking about? I'm just getting ahead of myself. I just completely skipped one number. And that is just be you, literally just be you. Because if you're too busy trying to compare yourself to another YouTuber and to another influencer, it's not going to work. You're going to eventually create a flow that's going to be best suited for you and showcase your personality. Okay, let me give you a different example. If you go to another YouTube channel and all of a sudden this particular has 30 videos right but all 30 videos are completely different from each other you got weight loss you got hair growth you got diy you got makeup you got tutorials you got unboxings you got food tastings all of a sudden you're like okay i am so overwhelmed with this person this person has so many different areas to focus on I just want to watch a video on this and they seem to do well on here but i'm not going to go back to that channel because they don't do a, enough videos on maybe like eyeshadow tutorials they only done two but the two that you did see you did enjoy but most of their other videos are on weight loss so for you know you as a viewer you're probably not going to you probably will subscribe because that those two videos that you saw on eyeshadow tutorials were great but you're not going to come back to those videos so my last and final number six right and you're like what anyways eventually eventually hard work will pay off so as long as you're consistent and you create a structure for yourself whatever you want to achieve in terms of your youtube channel you will get there just don't get discouraged like i said earlier and just have fun with it don't if you're going into this thinking or having the expectations that you're going to make money and that is your game plan like i want to be wealthy i want to be financially stable because of my youtube channel 
then you're not doing it for the right reasons. Absolutely not. If you're doing it because you enjoy showcasing and showing others of what you like to do in your own personal life and you think it could be beneficial for someone else, then do it. Because eventually, you hear my son? That was a large, a large, a lot, a loud sneeze. Eventually, you'll get to that point. The money will always follow. The subscribers will follow as long as you're consistent and you're true to yourself. Hopefully this video is cut down because I've been recording this video for almost an hour. Again, this is what you don't see behind the scenes. There's a lot of outtakes, a lot of stops that I got to take care of with kids in the background. <laughs> but make sure you hit that like button and you leave a comment. And then from there, also subscribe if you enjoy my videos. And if you do want to see other videos in terms of the analytics, of it all in terms of like how behind the scenes of YouTube works and how to increase your video um, video view count. Leave a comment below and then let me know what your thoughts are. If you want to see a video like that, we can definitely go into that a little further. But until then, you guys, make sure as always, if you're not new to my channel, then you'll know what I'm about to say next. Or you probably won't know what I'm going to say next because you're new to my channel, the Carlos. So brush your teeth, wash your culo, and subscribe. Thanks for coming. I really appreciate it.